Step into a world where folklore meets the supernatural, where legends come to life and mysterious tales unfold. Welcome to Memory Chronicles, where the past holds the key to unlocking the secrets of the present. Join us as we delve into the realms of myth and mystery, exploring the untold stories that linger in the shadows of history. Get ready to embark on a journey of discovery with us. Memory. Oh, what's up? It's you again. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, I mean, I've heard a little bit about it. I could do my research and let the people know. I, I got it. Okay. I'm listening. I'm listening. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. This is this was your favorite legend. Oh, oh okay. Like every other legend. Is, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm quiet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let, let me get on with the show. Let me get on with the show. All right. Thank you for calling in. Ghostly from the friendly past. I'll let the people know about this next folklore. Thank you. All right. Bye. Welcome back, my friend, links to the Memory Chronicles podcast. I am your host, author, and sister friend, Memory. I'm so excited for today's episode, as you all heard from my producer and co-host, the ghost from the friendly past. It is going to be a good one. Let's gather around the fire and let's get into this. In the bustling heart of Victorian London, where horse-drawn carriages rumbled over cobblestone streets and gas lamps flickered through the night, a sinister force began to rise from the depths of the city. This wasn't a tale of ghosts or ghastly crimes, but of an invisible enemy that would bring the mighty metropolis to its knees. An enemy. Known as the Great Stink, the summer of 1858 brought with it a heat wave like no other. The sun scorched the earth, baking the city in relentless waves of sweltering heat. As the temperatures soared, so did a malodorous miasma, which crept insidiously from the banks of the River Thames. This wasn't just any smell. It was an overwhelming stench that ensnared every street and alley, seeped into grand homes and humble shacks alike, and brought gentry and commoners to tears of despair. The cause of this olfactory affliction lay in the river itself. For years, the Thames had been the unwitting receptacle of the city's waste. Human excrement, industrial effluence, and refuse of all sorts were unceremoniously dumped into its waters. Turning the river into a churning brew of filth, this had gone largely unnoticed, or at least unheeded, until that fateful summer when the combination of heat and stagnant water transformed the Thames into a river of death. The stench was so overpowering that it disrupted the daily workings of the city. Businessmen conducted their affairs with handkerchiefs pressed to their noses. Members of Parliament, whose grand edifice stood perilously close to the reeking river, were forced to soak their curtains in chloride of lime in a desperate attempt to ward off the scent. Yet nothing could quell the wrath of the great stink. Tales spread of even the queen herself recoiling from the foul air as she tried to find respite in her palatial gardens. As cholera outbreaks began to claim lives at an alarming rate, the authorities could no longer turn a blind. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Memory Chronicles podcast. Spread the word by sharing your favorite 30 to 60 second clips on your social media. It helps us connect with like-minded listeners like you. We're dropping new episodes every Monday at 6 a.m. Central Time. So set your alarms. Want to support the show? Hit our link tree in the description and buy us a coffee. Every bit helps. Interested in being a guest or curious about Memory's latest book projects? The link tree has all the info you need. Catch us on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram, our Memory Chronicles. Join our growing community by following, subscribing, liking, and sharing our content. From all of us here, and from Memory, thank you for your time and support. Stay safe, and see you next time.